boys! I'm back! Hi all, my name's Tom. Well, we've eventually arrived almost at the day. On the 1st of May, I go into Nottingham County Court at 10am in the morning to do battle with those entities I call the Dark Forces. Well, the main thing is, this day has come because of you. Each and every one of you, on the 23rd of July 2014 and the 23rd of January this year 2015, all those that came along and those thousands of people that supported us, that couldn't make it, have achieved something quite remarkable. If it wasn't for you, myself and my family would not be in our little bungalow. You stopped a criminal action taking place. And because of you, my family right now have an opportunity on the 1st of May. Um, sorry, I should say, this is Richie for LawfulRebellion.org. We are here today on May the 1st, where we have hundreds of people up and down the country zeroing in on Nottingham, Ye Old Jerusalem pub, for a day of common law action. People are going to be briefed on what it is to be a peace officer today, to be an individual who is only there to make sure that peace is upheld at all times. you're witnessing this stuff going on and you're not doing anything about it then yeah you are peacekeepers <laughs> are you a friend of Tom's oh ITV wow really So I am here at the Justice Centre and the Family Court of Nottingham in support of Tom Crawford, who you can Google, uh, cancer patient, paid his mortgage for 20 years, now being taken away from him, uh, made an appeal on YouTube for help and he got help and all bailiff action was stopped twice. I didn't, quite, I didn't quite catch that. What did he just say? There's no judge in the room. There's no judge. So what he's trying to do is get an order to get Tom's uh, expenses. Yeah. And then he says he'll let you know further. I mean, that just shows you what bollocks we've got. Yeah. Yes, the man can't come and do his job. I mean, so they've got, no, they got no judge in the room? That's what he said, yeah. Bizarre. Can't have a proceeding without a judge present. No, they don't like this. They don't like people turning up in nothing. Love your hat, man. <laughs> it's awesome. This is something that affects everyone. The fact that you can lose your home for not paying just a couple of mortgage payments when, you know, not even going into the fraudulent nature of mortgages and everything else that has been covered in depth and you can see on all the links uh, that I'm going to post with this video. But, um... It's an injustice to lose your home full stop, regardless. There are other people that live in that home as well. And uh, they don't need to be threatened just because they've missed a couple of payments to lose the house quite so quickly. And that's why people are here today. Because that injustice can fall on any of us. He wrote to refusing to show it, sir. Therefore, he's not a representative of the company. If you're refusing to show your identity, we have no proof that you are a representative of that company. Please show me. SIA regulations. Yes. Four more. Don't get in his face, though. Man.
so they just tried to rush the court outside Tom Crawford's hearing. I don't know why. See, now you've got BBC. See over there? Now you've got BBC, ITV, all paying attention now. I just want to point that out. I just want to point that out. None of the cameras have been on today. ITV and BBC have been here all day. But the second people start shouting, the set, that's when they turn on. And look, here come the pose now. Right? Right, this is about keeping the peace now. There's no point just chanting that, lads. What are they kicking off about? We don't require you yes. to live. Yes. But we got to put up with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter. You can see that. That's a 26th public excellence, 50,000 privileges. That's a 40 years. Please remember that on your battery yesterday. Uh, the Imperial Guard have turned up now, so we've got police surrounding the front doors of the entire Justice Centre, which comprises all the courts, because they knew that they were going to be taken over. Because we need, we need to be on the same page here. Something has happened today which nobody out here is aware of. Something has happened inside that room, the verdict hasn't been given, but lots of pieces of evidence in Tom's case have been established that were never established before. The noise outside is impeding Tom's chances of winning this appeal. Please, I'm appealing for calm. We all need to be very, very calm and we need to understand that this day is about Tom's appeal hearing. Well said. And if Tom succeeds in this appeal, Everything turns around and him and his family keep his house. Does anybody here want to be responsible for impeding those chances? No. No. So do I have an undertaking from everybody here that they will maintain the peace? Yeah. You've got it from us tonight, the police and the cut and the staff in there, mate. I'm not talking about the cause, I'm talking about how we deal with the problem, but I understand what you're saying. So I, 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 I'm going to say this from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, because that is all we require to see this through to the end of the day. And just be under no illusions. Even if the decision isn't the right decision today, we will not back down until justice is done. That's true. send me an email what his decision is. It can go either way if there's a bit of a, a battle in there. Uh, the judge may have listened to the truth or he may have listened to uh, the barrister. But uh, there's not a lot more uh, myself and, and Michael and all you people could do. He's got the information. Um, thanks for the little chat outside, but I don't think it was about us. <laughs> Them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well, we're going up the Elvis Air Local Pub, so if anybody wants to go up there, we're going to have a, a little bit of a um, party and a drink, so I'm not buying the first round. If <laughs>